This is part 38 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery live and die functions. We discussed how to perform event delegation using on method in part 36 and using delegate method in part 37. Another way to perform event delegation is by using live function. With on and delegate functions, the event gets bubbled up to the specified parent element, whereas with live function, the event gets bubbled up all the way to the document object. Let's understand what we mean by this statement with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. Notice that at the moment we are using delegate function to perform event delegation. And if you look at the HTML, this unordered list element is the parent of these two list items. And within the jQuery code, notice that we are attaching a single click event listener to the parent element, that is to the unordered list element. And look at the selector li. So this is going to match all the descendant list items. So if we trigger a click event on any of these list items, that event gets bubbled up all the way to the parent element, that is to the unordered list element. And since we have added a click event listener to the unordered list element, this unordered list element is going to process that click event. Okay, so with delegate and on functions, the event gets bubbled up to the specified parent element. So here, the specified parent element is the unordered list element. Whereas with live function, the event gets bubbled up all the way to the document object. In fact, when we use live function to perform event delegation, we don't specify the parent element. Let's look at an example of using live function to perform event delegation. So instead of all this code, we want to find list items and we want to use a live function to perform event delegation. Look at this, the IntelliSense does not show up live function. Why is that? That's because live function is completely removed in jQuery 1.9 and at the moment we're using jQuery version 1.11 so live function will not be available in that version. So let's use a previous version of jQuery. Uh, let's use, for example, jQuery 1.7. Now, previous versions of jQuery can be found on Microsoft CDN. Here is the URL for Microsoft CDN. I'll have this link available on my blog in case you need it. So let's click on this link which says jQuery releases on the CDN. And here you can find jQuery 2.x versions. And if you scroll down a bit further, you can find all jQuery 1.x versions. And if you scroll down further, let's say we want to use jQuery version 1.7. Here is the URL, so let's copy that. And within Visual Studio, I'm going to comment this script element, which is referencing you know, jQuery 1.11 that's present within our project. Instead of that, I'm going to use another script element, specify the source element, and we are going to use this version of jQuery that's present on Microsoft CDN. All right, now look at this. When we press dot, we should get IntelliSense and we see the live function. Okay, so the event is click and when click event occurs, we want to call a function and here is the function. And what do we want to do? We want to slowly fade out the list item. So to refer to the element on which the click event is triggered, I am going to use this keyword and let's call fade out function and the speed is going to be 500 milliseconds. Okay, so here we are using live function to perform event delegation. And to stop event delegation, at the moment we are using undelegate function. Instead of that, we can use die function. Okay, so again with die function, we don't specify the parent or context element, so we don't require that unordered list. Instead of that, I'm going to use li and I'm going to use die function. And then you know, click event is the one that we want to stop delegating. So we specify the name of the event, click. All right, so let's save those changes, reload this page, and see if this is going to work in the same manner. So I'm going to add a couple of new list items. So these two are dynamically added. The first two items are the ones that are already present. And look at this, when I click on the list item, it slowly fades out both the existing one and the dynamically added one. Now let's go ahead and stop event delegation. So I'm going to click this button, undelegate. So now it should have stopped the 
event delegation. So when I click on list item, look at that, it doesn't fade out. And even the new list item doesn't fade out when we click on that. So here we are using live and die functions, live function to perform event delegation and die function to stop event delegation. But keep in mind, you know, whatever you can achieve with live function, uh, you know, you can achieve with on function. Live function is deprecated in jQuery 1.7 and completely removed in jQuery 1.9. Everything that can be achieved with any of these three methods, that is live, bind, and delegate, we could achieve using on function. So if you're using jQuery version 1.7 or higher, then jQuery recommends to use on function instead of using any of these three functions, live, bind, or delegate. And here is the uh, URL for the Microsoft CDN. Thank you for listening and have a great day.